Hey, hi, Anil. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hi, how are you? Fine. Very excited. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> Hanel, would you like to uh, switch on your video or, uh, I mean, it's your choice. Hello, sir. Okay, but, yeah, hi, hi. So, how can we put it in? Um, okay, perfect. <clears throat> perfect, Hanel. So, uh, again, thank you for joining. So, uh, Hanel, the agenda of this uh, call is that, you know, we I'll be just asking you a few simple questions, uh, like, you know, what were the questions asked in interview and what all skills uh, people require uh, to get into this domain, right? And then if the video cuts out, if the video is good, uh, then we will probably also <clears throat> think to upload it on our channel, right? Uh, while mentioning you. Sure. Okay. All right. So we will start in five seconds and this is recorded for your content, right? Okay. okay. All right. So thank you so much, Hanil, for joining. Uh, and for the viewers, Hanil is one of the students of Chobaj Learning. So Hanil uh, is an analytics enthusiast. So Hanil, first of all, I would like to ask in which company and which position you got placed into? Yeah, I got uh, placed in one diamond company in Surat. And uh, over there, I am uh, working as a data analytics as well as data scientist also. Okay, so your role will be both. It, it will be yeah, data yeah. analytics as well as data scientist. Okay. So Hanil, would you also mind to tell a bit about your background uh, as in your, what, what, if you have any corporate experience or. Okay. I work as an application developer. After that, I joined the data scientist program and your job as learning data analysis program. And then after I got uh, some calls and I joined this organization. Okay. And so Hanil, uh, I would like to ask that for a new person who want to get into analytics domain. So what shall be the roadmap of it? Or I would ask what are the skills and you know, what shall be the roadmap of it? Firstly, I think Python is very mandatory for a data analytics or data scientist purpose, because uh, using Python, you can easily uh, map your EDE and EDE is very important in both data analytics as well as data scientists. And after that, uh, I think Excel is very crucial for that. Because if you know Excel, then uh, Power BI is easy for you. And uh, also Tableau is uh, other thing that you can learn also. Okay. So, <clears throat> and how much time you have been associated with Joba Learnings? Uh, I think uh, three months program. Okay, three months. So, uh, in total, you were saying that Python, Excel, uh, Power BI, uh, and SQL, SQL, is it? SQL, SQL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SQL. Okay. All right. So, Henel, also, <clears throat> have you made any personal portfolio or were you practicing in some platforms yes, uh, regularly? Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, I have also created my Kaggle profile as well as GitHub profile. So, over there, I share my uh, projects. Mm -hmm. uh, related to data scientists or some project related to data analytics. For example, uh, during IPL, I create a, uh, I, uh, uh, I think Gujarat Titans wins live cycle, right? Yeah, I check uh, your portfolio yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So over there, I mentioned that what is the reason behind Google Titans wins this IPL? Mm -hmm. So batting as well as bowling, like uh, who are the key person behind the uh, victory? So it's, I think, very good uh, portfolio project for me. Okay. And apart from that, is, is this, for, I mean, the portfolio that you have made, has it helped you in your interview process? Were yeah. they a proof of your work or how did you show them? Actually, that's very helpful to me. First of all, during interview process, uh, they asked me about my project. So I create that project so I can easily understand, I easily related to them their answer and question, right? So after then, uh, they uh, told me about uh, which model I use or which part you work on, something like that. So I done that project, so I understand very well. And what uh, things I struggling for during that project. So I give everything because I create that for myself. Okay, and <clears throat> apart from this, what is the location of your uh, job? Is it Surat, right? Yes, yes, yes. So Surat is your hometown, is it? Yeah, yeah. 
it's a, like a 10 minute survey from my home. Okay. And what all projects, I mean, what were the major projects that you build as a part of your learning? Uh, I build, a, I think, a house prediction model. Uh, house prediction. End, so yeah, what was it's, the... It's end-to-end project. Mm-hmm. From like, I get data from a Kaggle, like uh, any data. And then I create a model. Then I use uh, some uh, template from Google. And mm-hmm. I uh, pick, I use Pickle file to calculate my uh, accuracy score. And then I cover that uh, using JSON file. And I published that model. Got it. And what uh, did you also do any other projects apart from yeah, this? Actually, I have done many projects. Because uh, I think that if you create many projects and you show them to interviewer, they ask you about them. And uh, I think uh, you have to very easily come because you create that project, right? So you can easily you know, give your answer for them. Got it. So basically you have something to talk about in interview and uh, yeah. when you are showing your projects, so interviewer is by default interested in your yeah. profile. Right? That's, it's like a plus plus point for you because yeah, apart, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, you create project and you mention that. So interviewer asks you about that also. Like you, you have already answered for that, but that's mm-hmm. already plus point for you. Yeah. So apart from skills, apart from certificates, one thing that is important is portfolio yes, yes. Uh, and your projects that you are doing, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, apart from this, are, were you working while you were preparing for analytics? Actually, uh, I have uh, one internship is my ongoing internship in mm-hmm. data science. So one mm-hmm. day I create a loan prediction model. So yeah, that's also I mentioned in my interview. And they ask some question related to that. And for me, it's like easy pie, easy pie type, easy answer. For me. Yeah. So <clears throat> apart from that house prediction, you built Gujarat Titan. Uh, there was a yeah, project yeah. of Gujarat Titan as well, right? So apart from that, there were any projects? Yeah. I mean, uh, one, la- last, I think in last week, you told me about the uh, Twitter project. Yeah. Remember? Oh, sentimental yeah. analysis. Yeah. Yeah. Sentimental Got analysis. It. So I use the World Cup, uh, T20 World Cup is ongoing during that time. So mm-hmm. I mentioned that uh, that I create a project like a live project because World Cup is going on that project. So it's real-time data. So it mm-hmm. also very helpful to get this job for me. And one more thing, what should be the order of learning, right? First, a student should learn Excel or Python or, you know, SQL. So in my case, uh, I... I have already knowledge in Python and SQL, mm-hmm. but for beginner in data scientist, uh, Excel is very easy to learn and you can analyze everything in Excel. So mm-hmm. I think Excel is the first step of learning. And then after then you can learn Python or SQL because mm-hmm. both are very needed. To, and after then you can go in with uh, data visualize software like Tableau or Power BI. Mm-hmm. Okay. And one more thing, Anil, that what were the general interviews? So how many interviews, first of all, you have given so far? Actually, in uh, this job, in this job, I gave, I think, two interviews. Two like interviews. first, first is telephonic interview. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, the, uh, actually, three interviews. First is telephonic interview, then HR, and then technical round. Okay. No, in total, I mean, when you were searching for a job in analytics while upskilling uh, from Jobash, so how many interviews give, you have given in total? Uh, I think five to six interviews. Five to six. Okay. Yeah. And what were the questions? I mean, generic questions or what were the mindset of the recruiter? Were they looking for your degree or were they looking for your skill sets? And what were the general questions that they were asking? Or what are the questions that were getting repeated the most? Yeah. So first of all, they're looking your uh, resume, right? So they ask question related to your resume. Mm-hmm. So if you mention like some skill like Python or Power BI or Excel, so they ask you question about that. And then uh, project related question are very often I got. Got it. So basic and where did you got the, co- and I mean, how did you got the calls? Where did you apply? on the website of companies or you uploaded your platform on platforms like Nokri, LinkedIn? Yeah, uh, so firstly, uh, I always uh, apply from LinkedIn 
but uh, mm -hmm. actually my resume is not selected or i don't know what happened then i talked to you and you uh, told me about a uh, nokri profile so mm -hmm. i create my 100% profile and then uh, i post a check with you and you give me some uh, yeah yeah and uh, i applied that and uh, after i complete 100% i got two calls from a company yeah so that is what i mean it is very important to have a good profile on platforms like nokri.com or yeah. linkedin.com or any platform you are applying to for example in our case jobaj learnings also or jobaj.com also the important thing or key takeaway which i guided hanel also that you need to have a complete portfolio over there you need to fill each and every field and when are you available to work that is also important so if you are immediately available to work you should put a filter of immediately over there Yes. Yeah, that is important. So, Hanil, what are your future plans now? So, are you continuously now preparing, or are you preparing for some higher studies, or, or I mean, I know you are excited for this job. Yeah, currently I am looking forward to this job for I think one or two years. After mm -hmm. I getting experience, I like to move on to Bangalore or Hyderabad. So it's like uh, Silicon Valley in India. Yeah. So I like to job over there, and after mm -hmm. that I take the other job. Yeah, like okay. Bangalore is uh, final destination for me. Yeah, ba Bangalore is the hub of. Uh, I mean, over there you can get good packages, good growth, and good hike, and you know, work environment is also good. So, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, Anil, just final conclusion or final guidance you would want to give uh, the coming aspirants of analytics or data science domain. Um, just final key roadmap. Like this should be your first step. This should be your second step, and then we will wrap up. Yeah. So first step is like you always follow your mentor because mm -hmm. that's very important step to me because whenever I have doubt I ask you right and you give me a very fun uh, beautiful solution for that and I think for a roadmap is quite easy like uh, in Jobaj learning module firstly you got Excel then uh, Python SQL and after you complete this work then you move on to Power BI this is like a leader for Becoming and successful in data analytics job, and if I you talking about the data science job, this all step are mandatory. But uh, in a data science, I think for based is after you complete EDF part and SQL part, you have to learn some machine learning module, and you can learn by a website also, and YouTube video are very available for now. So it's very free thing to you can. Okay, all right, all right, Hanil. So thank you so much for attending this and helping the viewers and the future aspirants. And we will be touch on Discord, right? So in case of any yes, issue, yeah. again, feel free to reach out to me anytime, right? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, Hanil. So thank you so much for joining, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, sir.